Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Josh from Keep It Techy, and today I want to do a quick video on the copy command. Now, the copy command is a command line utility that's built into most Linux distributions um, in order to copy files and folders um, to different directories throughout the file system. So I wanted to go through and show you guys a few examples on how to use it, as well as uh, the options that you should familiarize yourself when learning this command. First thing I wanna talk about though is I'm running Manjaro Linux in a VM. And I, I try to highlight a different distribution so you guys can see uh, something new each video as far as distributions go. Um, Manjaro is a Orch-based Linux distribution. Um, so with that said, it's 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 a pre-built system. It has an installer and everything is quick, quick installation. Uh, it's pretty good. It installs certain programs and that that they think uh, people would use. You know, just like all the other distributions that are that have those uh, quick installers and a desktop already installed so um it has everything pretty me starting out and if you have any other programs you know you can go to the the software manager and install and also this is like i said this is an arch based distribution so you can always go into the terminal and use the pacman command that's the package manager for uh, arch and you can install directly from there so um but I'm not going to get too deep into that. I just want to show you guys that uh, it's pretty cool um, distribution. So you guys should check it out. But anyway, um, so first thing we want to do is open up a terminal. And I already have some files and folders created for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to list them right fast so you guys can see. Um, I have three files in here, uh, test one, test two, and test three, as well as a folder. I just put a folder in there. I could have used a documents folder, but whatever. I just created a folder so you guys could see, um, so I could break it all down for you. So basic, uh, copy command. Let's clear this out. Uh, and I'm gonna go copy and let's do test, uh, test one. And I want to copy that into folder one. So let's press enter on that. And I already copied it once before, just messing around. So it's asking me to overwrite, but it won't ask you that uh, when you first do it. So I'm going to just type Y and press enter. And the copy has happened. So let's ls the folder one folder or directory. Press enter on that and you'll see that test one is there so that's basically how you make a quick copy now i want to show you guys how to make a copy of multiple files and so let's delete that i'm gonna delete that file out of there so you um you'll see me copy more than one file and i don't want to see the output again uh so let's go clear all right, now the way you copy multiple files is you just type CP, uh, the actual files. So uh, with with those files that I created, they all are pretty much the same as far as the name goes. Um, they just have one, two, three at the end of it. So we know that. So we could type test and then store, which is a wild card. So this will pull anything that starts with test and, and after after that it could be anything so it's a wild card uh, so it should pull each one of those files uh that begin with test and we want to move them all to the folder or copy them all to the folder one directory so let's press enter on that and then one thing i want to highlight is uh whenever you run a command i didn't highlight this on the last one but whenever you run a command uh in the command line um if it doesn't give you an output, especially on these type of um, commands that like uh, that are built into the operating system um, utility, so to speak, um, they they won't give you an output unless you specify in the options that you want to see some type of output. But 
uh, whenever you run these commands, if it doesn't give you any output, um, that means the command ran successfully and that everything happened the way it was supposed to. If it gave you, if it has some type of error, you'll see some output there. It'll say error, it failed, whatever, and you have to fix whatever that issue is. So that's just a, a quick um, tad bit on uh, what what to look for when running these commands. So um, now I want to ls that folder, uh, folder one directory, press enter on it. And as you can see, each one of those files are copied there now. So next thing I want to do is show you guys how to copy a directory. So uh, let's go CP and then we have all those files in there. So I'm gonna copy that full directory folder one and I always take off the, the uh, forward slash of the ender directory so it'll know to copy everything within it because some I, I can't remember all the utilities that require you to put that in there. But I know whenever I back it off, it, it knows to copy the full directory. So uh, and I want to copy that folder into that directory and whenever you and that's another thing i try to do i always if i know if i know i want it to go inside of a directory i leave the backslash i mean the forward slash on the end of uh the actual folder that way it knows that this is gonna go after this so that's why i always leave that on there that way it just makes sure it does it so you can press enter on that and I forgot you have to run when when copying directories and it has files within it, you have to type the dash or option, which is recursive. Uh, and I was actually going to get to that uh, next, but whatever um, I got to it now. So this will uh, this will step forward on it. So let's press enter on that. And as you can see, it didn't give us any output. Yeah, and this is exactly what I was trying to tell you. Most of the time, it'll tell you what the problem is when you're running the command. Um, dash or is not specified. Omitting, uh, omit, omitting directory uh, folder one because it doesn't have that option of recursively. Recursive, which that's what the or stands for. So if we ls the documents folder now, uh, we should see that folder one is there. And if we go ls um let's go documents and then folder one press enter you'll see all the documents are there so let's clear this out so next i want to show you guys how to uh copy a file and if it's going to replace uh, a file that's there then it will create a backup of that file that's there uh the copy and um basically make a backup of it so if the text that's in that file you didn't mean to change it it'll create a backup of the text that's there so first off i have to add some text to a couple of those files so bear with me um some super fly text and we want to write that into uh test two and press press enter um, and then let's do that again and let's do some fly text um, up in test one damn so if we cat out uh, test one You'll see that it, that's there, and then test two, some super fly text. So let's clear this out. And then the way you run this command is CP dash B, and then the text you want to copy, the te text, I mean the file that you want to copy. So I want to copy text, test uh, one, and I want to copy it to test two. And so if we press enter on this, it will ask us if we want to overwrite. You type Y uh, for yes, it will overwrite the file. And if we list that directory, you'll see that there is a second number test two. Um, 
and basically whatever was there originally uh, which if we scroll up above test 2 should have superfly or some superfly text um, that's where some superfly text is right there and this test 2 is whatever was in test 1 which was some fly text or something like that so if we cat out I'm gonna just run test 1 again and then same thing for test 2 and as you can see it's exactly the same so if we do test 2 with the squiggly line press enter and that's the original file so as you can see it creates a backup it copies it overwrites what's there but it also creates a backup of it so in case you need to revert back to that backup in the file that you overwrote overwrote then you can move that one back or delete that one and then take the squiggly line off the end of it and you're good to go so that's that so let me clear this out and just to show you guys something else uh when running that command let's ls again so we can see it when running that command as well um you can you can use uh the s option as well and this will allow you to specify what you want to name the backup so if we go um cp dash um is it capital s yeah capital s um and then we specify the uh, the extension of it you can specify the extension so i want to i want the extension to be dot bck um and then we want test one is the first copy and then test two is the second uh, i mean is where we want to copy it to and press enter and then type y for yes press enter if we ls this again now you'll see a test two dot back so we specified the extension we want to change it to or add to the end of it because like if this was test dot two dot txt for a text file then it would add the dot bck to the end after the uh, dot txt so it'll add it to the end of the file basically to let you know it's a backup so same concept it just allows you to specify what you want to say at the end of it so so let's clear this out so that's pretty much it i just want to show you guys a few of the options uh so you can familiarize yourself with it um so let me show you guys the uh, man page for it so it's just man cp press enter and it'll show you some of the other options um and one thing i didn't show you guys was uh that i want to touch on is the uh the link you can create links um but with the debt with the dash l option um that'll allow you to create a link to a specific file um and then the dash p which preserves um all the um information on the file it preserves the attributes basically uh the ownership timestamps is all that so you can type dash dash preserve or you can type dash p and that'll preserve all the information for it so if you have certain permissions set up on that copy um it'll preserve all that so when you copy it back it'll automatically be in, have the same um ownership timestamp and all that good stuff so dash p is something good and like i said dash or is a capital or lowercase i always use lowercase i didn't know you could use uppercase but uh that's mainly for copying directories like i said you can remove the destination um and like i said you can come through here and look at all this stuff you can you can see um the rest of the options that are in there. i just wanted to show you a few of the basic options so you can get it well that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe um I, like i said i'm gonna keep pushing this linux content uh for people that are interested in it um interested in switching from windows or mac to to linux so you guys can have a clear understanding of how to use some of the basic commands so you're not going in blindly um 
into Linux. So that's that's the whole purpose of my videos. It's to uh, you know point people in the right direction so they can actually start using other operating systems and get away from all those uh, I would say Big Brother style uh, operating systems out there that has a bunch of stuff in it that especially dealing with privacy and all that i don't want to get too deep into it because i could talk about it for for hours so um like i said like share subscribe to my channel and keep it techie